For every paid application available on the Google Play Store, there are usually five or more alternatives offering the same, or in some cases, better functionality completely for free or with just a few ads scattered throughout the interface. But in some cases, there are paid apps that are absolutely worth the price of admission. And so for today's video, I've picked 12 applications that are either paid up front or that offer an in-app premium upgrade, all of which I reckon are worth every single cent. You ready? Let's dive in. And so one of the easiest paid applications to recommend is the king of third-party home screen launches, Nova Launcher. This is a launcher that has been around for a very long time and has well over 50 million downloads as a result. And it actually comes as a free version with a lot of fantastic features, most of which would satisfy the average user. But there is a paid version called Nova Launcher Prime, which you can pick up for around $5 give or take. This premium upgrade unlocks features such as hiding apps from the app drawer, enabling notification badges, plus what most people upgrade for, gesture support. This feature alone unlocks a heap of really cool ways to interact with your phone. Plus, on top of that feature, the upgrade also allows you to assign swipe gestures to home screen icons or folders, which is a really underrated feature. And so, if you're at all into customization, then the paid upgrade is a must. And whilst we're talking about customization, another amazing application that has the potential to spice up any home screen you use it on is KWGT. But for me, the pro version is almost essential and is worth every dollar. If you're not familiar with KWGT, this is an app for creating custom-made widgets. However, there's this really cool community of graphic designers who have created what are called widget packs, where they've essentially designed a huge range of beautiful widgets using KWGT and then wrapped that up into an application that you can download via the Play Store and then load straight into KWGT. Only trouble is you need the pro version for this to work. And unless you yourself are super keen on design and are willing to spend hours making your own widgets, then the pro version simply is a must. But moving away from customization for a minute, and if you're someone who uses your phone for semi-serious videography, then you definitely want to avoid using the stock camera app. Instead, you'll want to use an app like Filmic Pro because this will actually give you full manual control for capturing videos, which is a super important step in moving away from that cheap, amateurish look to a more professional look. Filmic Pro gives you full control over your exposure settings, manual focus, zoom, white balance, plus a heap more. And if you needed any further proof of how amazing this app is, then just take a moment to appreciate that this is the very app used to shoot big budget projects such as Hollywood films, Unsane and High Flying Bird, as well as a number of high-end music videos as well. It is one of the most expensive upfront paid apps on the list, but probably the most impressive as well. Now, if you've been around for a little while, then you'll probably know that my absolute number one reminders application for Android is Memorigi. And that's because not only does it have an incredible design, but it has even better functionality. Thankfully, a lot of the core features are available with the free version, but if you take your to-do lists and reminders seriously, then the paid subscription is well worth a look. Now, I'll admit, I don't love paid subscription models, but I'm yet to find an app that rivals Memorigi in terms of design and functionality. All right, following that, we have my very own application called Palette. And I know it might seem a bit gratuitous to include my own app on this list, but hey, it's my channel, so I think that's allowed. If you haven't heard of it, Palette is an app designed to not only showcase beautiful home screen setups, but also to provide you with direct access to all of the assets needed to recreate those home screen setups on your own phone. Now, the app is actually free to download and use, but purchasing the pro version will allow you to submit your own setups to be featured within the app, add more than five favorites to your favorite section, and it'll also let you download backup files for supported setups. Oh, and it'll also remove ads as well. Upgrading to the pro version is just a one-time payment of a couple of bucks, so pretty good value for money if you ask me. And even more than that, it also goes a long way to supporting me and the channel, which is a handy little bonus. All right, before we get to the next application, just wanted to take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, Hyperite. Hyperite is not just another spell checker. It is a powerful assistant that can help you to write anything faster, better, and more creatively. It's as simple as installing a Google Chrome extension, and once installed, there are three amazing tools that will level up your writing experience. 
The first one is type ahead, which is like having a super smart co-writer who knows exactly what you want to say next. And as you type, it'll suggest words and phrases that fit your context and style. And it'll actually learn from your writing and get better over time so that you can write up to 10 times faster. You can also use the rewrite tool, which will rewrite your text in any way you need, whether it be to make it longer, more formal, or even translated into another language. And finally, there's auto write, which is kind of like having a magic wand that can create content out of thin air. You just type in some notes on any given topic and auto write will generate five possible paragraphs for you to choose from, which you can also, of course, tweak to your liking. And what's really cool is that you can actually start using the tool completely for free. So if you're looking to level up your writing game, make sure you check out HyperWrite using the first link down in the description below. Okay, next up on the list today is AppBar. And this is a fantastic little app that allows you to create scrollable widgets filled with customized icons. Now, this app is just a straight one-time payment up front, no free version with a premium upgrade. But if you're looking for a way to access a stack of apps on your phone's home screen without it becoming super cluttered, then the price is totally worth it. You can place as many icons within your widgets as you like. And once complete, you'll get three different widget modes to choose from. Grid view, stack view, and list view. And each different widget mode will change the way you can scroll through each of your icons. You can also customize every single icon to make it look how you want it to, whether through the use of third-party icon packs or by changing up the size of the icons. So again, a pretty great way to spend a couple of bucks. Now, speaking of icons, another app that has some really cool premium-only features is an app I use all the time called Icon Pack Studio. This is an app that lets you create your very own icon packs, which you can then export and use with any home screen launches that support the use of third-party icon packs. The great thing is that most of the core features are completely free. However, there are a bunch of advanced customizations you can unlock with the paid version, including adding glow, textures, material edges, or fancy filters. Plus, even more than that, upgrading also means that you can import icon packs made by other creators, which I think is the key feature that makes the upgrade worth it. You can essentially find icon packs in any style via the community page, meaning you may never have to download a third party icon pack ever again if you choose to upgrade. Now, here's the thing though, if you're anything like me, you might just wanna use Icon Pack Studio to create icons for one or two applications, but if your home screen launcher of choice doesn't support individual icon theming, most of which actually do not, then an app called Icon Pack Mixer can basically fill this void. The app will essentially show you a list of every application installed on your phone, alongside corresponding icons from any icon pack installed on your phone, and you can then run through the list and select whichever icon you want for each application, and then export that as an icon pack APK file. Now, doing that once is fine, but anytime you install a new app on your phone that needs a new icon added, then you'll have to repeat this entire process, which can be a real hassle. And so that's where paying for the premium upgrade is totally worth it because it lets you select a base icon pack, which auto selects the icons on this list for you. Then you just select any of the newly installed apps as needed, update the icon pack, and you're done. And for me, any paid upgrade that saves me this amount of time is well worth it. Okay, after that we have Solid File Explorer. And this app has been my main file explorer application of choice for a number of years now. And whilst a lot of the features are available with the free version, if you wanna remove ads and unlock a few handy bits of functionality, then the paid version is totally worth it. It is an in-app upgrade, but beyond the additional functionality that this upgrade unlocks, the app itself just has a fantastic design and a suite of really impressive animations. I love it. Next up is TrueAmps, and this is a really cool custom charging animation application that I featured on the channel a couple of years back, but despite all of my looking since then, I've never found anything that comes close to its incredible design. The app only becomes activated when your phone is charging, and when it is, you'll get these really cool animated and OLED friendly animations that just look downright slick. The app is free to download, but there are a whole heap of customizations that become unlocked after you upgrade to the premium version, most of which make the purchase totally worth it. All right, second to last is SD Made Pro. And like a lot of the apps on this list, this app does also have a free version with the pro version unlocking some additional, but very handy features. But in short, this is an app that helps to keep your phone free from clutter. So whether it be from uninstalled apps leaving unwanted data behind or various log and crash files taking up unnecessary space, 
SD Maid knows exactly what's not needed and will help you to clean it all up, therefore reclaiming valuable storage space on your phone. Again, a lot of the great stuff is available with the free version, but if you're looking to really take advantage of everything the app has to offer, then the paid upgrade is a must. And so finally today we have Buzzkill, and this is a super useful app with an outrageously cool design. The app is just a single upfront payment of a couple of bucks, but if you're looking for an app to keep your notifications under control, then there's really not a better option. And that's because it is filled to the brim with various rules and actions that you can play around with, all of which will essentially allow you to see the notifications you wanna see when you wanna see them, and then filter out those that you don't wanna see. It works beautifully, and like I said, has a really cool design, so it is absolutely worth the price of admission in my books. And so there you have it. 12 applications that I reckon are worth every single penny. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub would be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you to HyperWrite for supporting the channel, and I will catch you later.